Hey everybody, it's time for 7 Minutes in the Morning Free Coaching Friday right here. Stick around. Sorry, I ran over to the ran over to the bookcase. I bet it's up here in the closet. I had a great uh, anyway. I got a great book about process. That's what we've been talking about this week, right here on Seven Minutes in the Morning. Let me turn that. No, oh, that's too bright. I'm talking about process this week on Seven Minutes in the Morning. Thank you so much for joining me all week long, and uh, I really do hope that this has been helpful. I'm Try and recap a couple of things that we talked about this week to um, maybe make it not such a bad topic. But hey, listen, if you are joining me, whether you're watching me live right now uh, in Living Color, or if you're joining later on the replay, both of those are awesome. I just love it that you guys are here. Do the same thing that Joe and Keith and Ramona have done. Drop me a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you've been watching. And look, if you can, if, if you're watching this later and you have questions about process or anything we're talking about, drop them in the comments. I'll see them and I will answer them. All right. Uh, so good morning to all of you that are here. So this week we have been talking about process and the book that I was, uh, that trying to find, ran, ran over there to try and find was the Nick Saban book because I'm wearing my Alabama shirt today. The whole book's about process. And, and, and you know, they kind of make fun of him on TV sometimes who talk about the process at Alabama, but it is a process. And it's, <laughs> everybody knows it, everybody does it, everybody follows it. And whether you like them or hate them, you can't argue that, you know, the record, I mean, his record is, I don't even know what it is now, 100 and, is it 112, 114, and 11? I think by most definitions that's successful. All right, so to keep me from getting too far afield in the, uh, in the football topic, just a couple of things from this week. You know, we talked about, we started the week talking about how processes suck and they are hard, and they are not the most enjoyable or the most uh, sexy part of the business, but they are the part of the business, the, the task that you can have on your list that can change, have the greatest impact on your business. Because, um, as the cup here says, let's see if I can get it up here, if you want different results, you have to do things differently. Right. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've got. And uh, Joe gave me a great quote at some point during the week or reminded me of the Bob Newhart piece. If it's not working, stop doing that. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Hey, see, it even made me laugh now. Hey, good morning, Jeremy. Glad to see that you are here um, also. And Keith says the show is part of his daily process. All right. <laughs> We're winning. All right, so, but here's the thing. And one of the reasons that, that defining processes <clears throat> are uh, the less desirable part of your day, and even if it's not about your business, even if it's just about designing a calm and peaceful morning for yourself, which I think we could all use sometimes. I know I can. I know that's one reason why I put time into being intentional about my mornings is so that it's they're, they're not so hectic. And see, I feel like, so today, I was a few minutes late getting the show started today. The whole day has been off kilter for me because I violated my process this morning. I slept in this morning. I didn't get up to 525, so that's just messed me up all morning today. But here's what it really is. This is why this is why defining process is so hard. It forces us to make choices. 
we like to have our auctions open, don't we? I mean, that's one of the things that people say they aspire to, is to, to have plenty of choices, to have have all of my auctions on the table. The reality is that every time you have to choose between option A and option B, you use up some of your daily decision-making capital. And if you do all that before 9 a.m. or noon, what are you going to use for the rest of the day? You'll use it all up, you'll be exhausted, and you'll probably just sit like this. Staring at the monitor, or the TV, or the book, or you know what have you. Trying to figure out, because you can't. You just, you've used it all up. So when we create process, when we create a script for our morning, or a script for a particular set of tasks that we need to master... That script gets us out of the decision-making mode, and it conserves some of that decision-making capital. We're not so exhausted, we're not so tired, and we have more left over for later in the day or for the other things that we need to do. We also talked about how if you do own a business, there is no possible way you can turn over any part of what you do to somebody else. You can't write it down. It's just the way it works. And look, Here's the bottom line. If you're too busy to create a process, this was a quote I shared with you earlier in the week. If you're too busy to create a process, guess what? You're always going to be too busy. Because that decision-making feels like a very... And there's a reason. I mean, we've all experienced this, right? You get to the end of the day, you get home like, man, I'm exhausted. What did you do today? Nothing. Just made decisions all day. It's physically tiring to have to do that, right? So conserve some of that that decision-making capital, conserve some of that energy, uh, and and reduce anxiety. I mean, anxiety comes from the unknown, right? And processes give us predictability, the exact opposite of the unknown. Less anxiety. All right, so that's really it. Choices, Choices is what holds us back, but choices are the key to not just having good processes, but ultimately finding the outcomes, finding your definition of success uh, that you want to pursue in your life. Make good choices, and you get there. Make bad choices, and you go where you go. It's kind of the difference between letting life happen to you and creating the life that you crave. I'd rather create the life that I crave rather than just play whatever hand gets dealt. That's me. I don't know. You might have something different. Hey, it's Friday. Thank you for joining me today and all week. I I really do. I truly appreciate it. I do these shows to help you. I hope that this has been helpful. If it has, leave me a comment. Let me know that. Give me a little bit of encouragement here on this Friday. If you have topics for the weeks coming up, I've got next week planned, mostly. Uh, and next week planned. If you got some other topics you'd like for me to cover, be, just send me a message. I'll see what I've got, put something together for it, and we'll work on it together. All right? It's so uh, it's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday. You have a great weekend. I'll be back here on Monday, another brand new series right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care. I'll talk to you then. <laughs>